Hey folks, Lucid, and uh, yeah, we're back to the Bethel game. I'm going to switch this over to uh, recording. Uh, I had been streaming it, and uh, I, the turns take too long to roll. Uh, I was chatting you guys up during the, the turn processing, but uh, it's really just not that feasible anymore. So um, uh, yeah, I can edit it, uh, blah, 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 edit this now uh, and uh, keep it a bit more concise. I found the first gate, which is kind of interesting, uh, because strangely we have Blood Mages as Bethel. Um... Yeah, we, um, so we're getting attacked by all the AIs, for those who aren't familiar. Um, our score graph, uh, this is our province graph, as uh, things are not looking very good for us. And uh, Yomi, or Sabutu, or however they are called in uh, Hellenica, they're kind of running away with the game, and there's not much I can do about it since I'm having to fight everybody. Um... Yeah, there's not really any silver linings. Literally all of my AI opponents have declared war on me, and they're all impossible AIs. Um, the only silver lining in this whole thing is that if there's a nation... Uh, Bethel is a nation, probably more than others, that is set up to be able to, to take... I, I can basically win from my capital, potentially. Not quite. Uh, I have to keep my forts alive uh, around my capital, and I'd like to keep at least one more place spawning pilgrims. But, yeah, we can we can survive pretty well for a good long while. Um, what I need to do, though, is I need to not let these guys keep getting on my, uh, my capital. That would be nice. Um, and we're going to just move around and bounce these guys off. Like, I've got this scripted to do regen now, which we've got uh, moss body protection. Should probably give this guy some armor. Ooh, hello. We've got a lightless lantern. Um... Yeah, I'll put this on you. And then uh, we're calling God. Um, it's two turns right now to do. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's two turns right now to get our God back. But then that's to get the newborn star. And then it'll be two turns again. So we're on like a four turn cycle. We should be. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think this guy's actually going to move in patrol. There's a very good chance we get attacked on top of this uh, spawns and shade beasts. I don't like shade beasts. Reanimating bite. It's not a ton of damage. I think we can actually take these guys. Let's take a look. See what they're attacking with. Yeah, this makes me, honestly, this makes me realize why, I, I mean, single player in six is so much better. It's just, you could have a game in Dominions 5 where the AIs don't choose to attack you, and then you could have, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, and then you could have a, uh, a game where they all attack you like this. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't play anything like a multiplayer game. Really. I mean, this can also happen to you in multiplayer, but... Uh, I would say it's not super likely, and if it does, it's only happening to at least one player at a time, uh, if the whole map's going to attack them. Um, okay, so I do want to move in patrol here. And, uh, we probably want to think about what spells we cast. Um, I think we're going to do Blessing, Iron Skin, Iron Will... Do we have fire shield? We do. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, okay. We had another unforted temple here that uh, that we lost, so that's a bit uh, unfortunate. Uh, we need to build a lab here as well, but we're a little poor. We're saving, that's basically the next thing we're saving for. Um, we're negative. Oh, we're not really saving though, are we? Hmm. Um, yeah, this isn't going to reverse itself. We'll go ahead and get a sorceress, um, because we're, we're never going to build infrastructure unless we get an event, which we have good scales, uh, like luck scale, so that's possible. Um, okay, we're moving patrolling our capital, we're, mo we're moving here, and we're moving patrolling here. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be rough. We're probably going to not be able to hold this unforted temple for terribly long either. All right, we'll see you in the next turn. All right, we got a new turn. Uh, our god is back. We should have probably sacrificed our god. Uh, I forgot to put the order in. 
Uh, we got attacked in some places. Uh, not really surprising. Yeah. Somebody died here. Did I forget to... Oh no, I lost a Jade Sorceress. That's not really worth it. Yeah, the AI can't afford to keep taking losses like this. Um, a human player wouldn't. Harbinger. Oh yeah, we didn't cast the uh, cast the thing to get our to sacrifice our god because we have to wait one more turn. Um, or not one more turn. We're gonna have to do. Let's count this again real quick. Uh, okay, uh, ten. And then wait, I'm gonna do this again. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, these are going to be our call god dudes. Actually, we'll have 27 god. I think we're actually going to have these 25 on call god, and then we'll have a few more doing it. That way I'll just know that the mass select is call god. We want a few more just sort of as an insurance policy. We'll have some more guys research, though. Um, not sure where these guys are going. It would be really nice to have uh, teleport, oh, which we do. Fuck yeah. Uh, we're going to teleport on top of these guys. Hope you like getting boned. Yeah, they're going to have a very, very bad day. The important thing to note here is there's some Cav and Wolves that are on attack rear. And uh, we're not going to have many turns to buff, which is fine. Okay, so we have to prioritize. There's a lot of uh, Javelins, which could be a bit of a problem. So I'm not terribly excited about Lances hitting us. Astral Shield is going to be amazing against the Cav. It's a great first spell to get off, I think. Um, and, and then I think next... A Blessing will actually happen off script. I think Mist Form next. Air Shield ne next, and then I think Mist Form. And then... Um, we already have Fire Shield. Nothing here is going to do too much. Uh, I think we'll go with... Uh, I think we'll go with Mirror Image. And I think we're going to go with Twist Fate. Actually, I think instead of Twist Fate, I think we're going to do... I think we're going to do Resist Magic. We'll do Mirror Image at the very end. Uh, it's possible they have smiters. All right, we'll actually do resist magic before uh, mirror image. I I'm sorry, misform. So misform and then mirror image. Okay, this should kill them. Um, and so it's really nice having teleport. Uh, we also are going to be able to pretty reliably take these guys out. We might get uh, a couple battles here. So this guy who's patrolling, we're actually going to have him preach. Um, this guy, what affliction do we have? Limp? Okay. Yeah, we're going to go murder those guys. We're just trying to clear out territory. Um... Next turn, I need to remember, we're going to do a, uh, a Sephira, probably, uh, which one do we want to do? I think I wait an additional turn. Unless I could, this is the actually, actually the next one I want to do, which is... 
uh, the one of kindness. We might be able to do it. Let's see. It's a decent number of guys here. They could attack with about 200, uh, 150 guys here, probably. Okay, let's call God. Uh, let's call God with the with these guys too. So we've got two guys calling God. We're going to, if we can, we're going to use that to free up a few more people to research. Uh, we're going to have this guy call God. We're going to have you research. Because every little second here matters. We might sacrifice here. We really need this guy to research. Um, wait, what affliction does this guy have? A limp. Huh, for some reason I keep getting limps. I wonder if they have a, a weapon attack that causes it. Okay. Let's go pick up some of these guys. Or actually, we could call God and maybe free up two more dudes. Um, turns are going to matter here. I think we still want to preach. We're very close. I think we're going to just teeter ourselves right in here. We're going to... I'll have to recount next turn to make sure I have 25 selected. But I think this will push us over the edge. Yeah, so now we're going to be able to next turn... Cast Sephira of Kindness. And our god should be coming back that turn. You can cast it the same turn your god's coming back if you've calculated it correctly. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, let's make you control four. Yeah, we can't get trampled or anything. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get Thom, then we're going to head up to get Well of Misery. Then we're going to come back down and get Evocation 5. And I think that's it. Let's check. Okay, yeah, we're barely getting Thom 5. Let's see what happens. All right, a new turn. Let's see if our teleporting gets our Seraphs killed. Uh, we're going to be in a pretty bad way if that happens. I uh, don't like this guy. Uh, two magic weapons. One hits pretty hard. Uh, does not have shock resistance, at least, so we should... Does it have regen or anything? No. About to get an HP route. Alright. like it's going to work. All right. Killed some acolytes. Yeah, another another turn of losing ground. Oh, got some. I think some of our dudes got shrunk, or did they get? Oh yeah, this guy got shrunken. We got size three uh, harbingers running around now. Um, it's not a huge reason we need to keep this uh, from being under siege. 
Uh, it would be good to have this guy retreat out. We'll likely go inside the fort. Um, I think we'll have this guy come over here and liberate. And uh, this guy can teleport. And we can potentially... <coughs> yeah, Fear and Horror Helmet's going to be pretty good together. Uh, we can potentially lock this down again. We could also come in here and try to get... Ooh, a Sun Ridge. I'm kind of inclined to take this. Try to keep these guys out of our cave system. Okay, but there's other things that are more important. We are getting our god back this turn. So what we need to do is we need to do a Sephira of Kindness. Oh, fuck. This has to be done by... Uh, this guy can do it. I shouldn't have moved him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of fucked my timing. I forgot that uh, I had to... I was just paying a little bit of attention. I would have seen that this requires a Holy Four Astral Four to cast, which basically means uh, it can't even be... Oh, yeah, it can be done with a Seraph, or it can be done with a uh, Tetramorph. So I think we're going to do it with a Tetramorph. Though, I don't know. Yeah, I think we knock somebody off here. Yeah, we're going to do it with a Tetramorph. I need these guys out clearing armies. we got to clear armies at a certain rate, or we're going to be, you know, a little sad. Um, yeah, so I think we take this. It's going to free us up a little bit over here for a turn or two. More pilgrims. All right. Yeah, we are highly negative income. Uh, with dreams of one day... Okay, let's count this. We actually don't even really need to get it exact. I think this is 25. Call God again. Um... Because we're not doing this Sephira of Kindness, because we don't have the right paths. Um, okay, so now what we do... We're also just waiting for a luck event so I can build the lab here. I think this is okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's see this turn rolled. We had one teleport. Oh, there's ghosts. Ghosts are very bad because they are armor piercing. Uh, fortunately, the fire shield should kill them, but uh, we're... Likely going to get afflicted and stuff in the meantime. Yeah, ghosts are really good to make. High morale, magic armor-piercing attacks. Are we going to be able to kill this guy? He's got a 59 damage enchanted pike. We definitely don't want him attacking us. Okay, do they attack again in Ashlands? They do. This is their reinforcements they were moving in. Trying to assassinate a Harbinger? Come on, bruh. Alright. The AI literally fighting over my, uh, my land. Feels kind of bad, man. Oh, nice. We uh, So they bumped, and then we ran into one of them. All 
Excellent. Seraphs go burr. Got a Principality and a Harbinger. Okay. So... Oh, God. Birds are going to be really annoying. Uh, okay, we're going to have these guys research this turn. Because... We are going to need to change shape, and we're going to cast Sephira of Kindness. That'll sack our god. And it's going to give us a site that lets, that'll double the speed at which we get our god back. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. Hmm. Okay. We're starting to get a fair number of angels. I forget what bless they had. Blood Surge Fortitude Mountain Survival. I think we're going to be pretty well set to just jump on top of these. I don't think there's much they can do. These guys are going to be annoying uh, just because they can... Uh, well, they can cause a lot of problems. Garden of Bones, okay. Uh, let's teleport over here. I think with the birds, again, Astral Shield's going to be most important. Um, Air Shield's not really going to be very important at all. We'll take this off. And then... Um, Mistform's also probably not going to do a ton. I think we're it's better if we just start shooting them. Um, we're also going to rattle out with fear with this. So, um, okay, let's have this guy move. We're, we're not really hell-bent on getting research finished now. We're going to get these guys out of dodge, too, here. Um, we could either attack from here or from here. Sunridge... I think we're going to go clear them off of this fort. And by the way, you know, like we're, think of all the dice we're rolling. We're rolling dice pretty much. We're super combating every turn. And eventually we're going to have things go wrong, probably. So that's kind of good to keep in mind. Uh, we need to get out of this where we can take forts. We can't really, we're not going to be able to take forts until we have Evocation 5, I don't think. Not in this mini V1. Um,. Well, they attacked here? Okay. But they didn't kill anything. That matters. I think we're going to send some reinforcements over here. And then... Have this guy research. I think these guys... Patrol. We've site searched. Yeah, I think this guy maybe comes back home. Just go ahead and use that guy, get him off the payroll. Um, yeah, I don't think we need this guy. He's just, this commander is going to cost us upkeep. We'll put this guy up at the front. Just suicide this commander. Um, so we're getting a Sephira of Kindness. Then we're going to do the Sephira of Virtue, which is this one. Or Splendor, sorry. And then we're going to start getting Virtues with every time we cast another Sephira. And then we're going to do the Sphere of Wisdom, which is going to knock our research into high gear. Would be nice to have a few more of these.
this would so if our objective is to come in here and take this which is what was suggested in the stream then really we want to fort all of these and get over to this I just, we're, we're, we just have to keep we're, that's too too difficult to even think about right now Okay, we're just going to let people keep sitting on our forts, and we're going to keep knocking them off. This isn't really even worth much. It's worth thinking about which provinces we fight for, like, but it's worth killing an army. Because at some level, we just have to kill a certain amount of the enemy players' armies, because they're going to be jumping on our... Like, this army's going to probably jump on this fort, so... We're kind of saving ourselves a turn there. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, we have cast the fear of kindness. We have teleported on these guys and killed them all. We'll watch some of these. Uh, we are getting holy word cast on us a lot. Uh, we're getting a lot of afflictions. We've lost our eyes. Is not ideal. But uh, this is the cost of a victory, I guess. So, you know, so be it. Okay, we clear those guys off. Wait. Okay, no, that's a different province. Yeah, you can see it's just merciless. Look at this. What can we do against such wanton violence? The Coalition of Bethlehem. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Satisfaction is... Uh, whoever would have been doing this in a multiplayer game would be basically dead by now. And look, they're preaching our Dominion down and shit. All these places we used to have at 9 Dominion, no longer. I wonder how that is. Is it just... Yeah, it's probably just they built temples everywhere. It's the other bad part about playing Impossible AI. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We're getting to the point where we can assemble one Grand Army. And we want to use that Grand Army, actually, to take reasonably easy fights. Uh, the main reason being that... Uh, we're going to get a lot of experience. So that's going to be our first choice. Okay. So uh, because we have the Sephira of Kindness, this should now, let's count these again. So that's um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, this should be enough to call God. Um, and that leaves us a good number left researching. Um, and so this should one turn get our God back. God, there's so much garbage. Let's go here where we can magic phase off. It's also very likely we're going to... Yeah, it's probably good. Uh, it's also pretty unlikely... Well, who knows where these guys go? Uh, I think we have to defend here again. I don't think there's much to say about that, but we can move this guy back to help with troop logistics. Uh, this guy could magic phase somewhere, like onto this army. I think that makes plenty of sense. Let's 
think Astral Shield's gonna go a long way here. Okay. Yeah, it would be really good to come up here and get this. We're, we're getting close to the point where I think we might be able to mount an offensive. We, we need to take a successful fight here. Let's, let's put these in two lines. Okay, something like this. Uh, we get we gotta start. Or we don't have to. It'd be nice to start leveling some of these guys up. Um, let's take these air randoms. If they okay, we'll just take this one air random, and we'll give him just a very basic script. Missed form advance and cast should help him from getting eaten. Um, okay. Do I have more guys I could bring? There's kind of a lot of dudes here, too. Uh, the problem moving guys here to defend this fort is they're going to get afflicted with disease. Hmm. We're almost going to have Conjuration 5. And when we have that, we'll cast... Go ahead and just change shape here. Uh, we're going to cast Eternal Pyre. Or Well of Misery, sorry. That will be in two turns. All right, let's see. New turn, kill these guys. Lots of bird attacks. Do not like. Uh, kill some more birds. Star Peaks, they're fighting again over who gets to take my fort. And it uh, looks like the answer was Yomi. Do we manage to throw them off? Because we're moving an army in. Uh, we want our fort too. Go the horns of Bethel. Did we lose anything? We did indeed. <laughs> we almost killed this army just with... Oh god. Oh god, okay. Um, well, this is why it's difficult having nice things. Let's go back and heal. Uh, well, here's what we're actually going to do. Let's put uh, everybody up here. Let's reorganize this, okay? So first we're going to take everybody that has a disease, and we're going to put them over here. And then we're going to take... The these guy, actually, let's put the guys of the disease on this guy, because he also needs to go heal. A majority of dudes on this dude. And then we'll move some of these guys back with, with these dudes. Let's make sure the ones that have experience we are fielding first. So these are the, the high experience dudes. They have, I think, over 50. Yeah. Um... the rest of them here and then the rest of them actually we're going to triage this further so these are the guys who are diseased let's take the guys who are wounded we'll also stick them here battle fright battle fright and a limp yeah we'll keep those guys here 
Well, we'll put this guy up here. Okay, we're taking the experienced guys here. We're taking the rest. Okay, so Home Slice is coming home. These guys are going to come over here and try to... We're just going to try to keep them fighting, and I have to rescript everybody here. Line formation... Okay, I think this is pretty safe. We could really just fight these combined plus a PD dump, and we don't have much. There's no population, so they can't PD. Uh, a few guys here. Uh. Oh, we're out of money. Yeah, this fort isn't actually worth that much, or this temple now, because we can't afford to make anybody. Now the birds, uh, I, they can't reinforce this. In fact, I'm not even sure how they got over here. This must have been like a long move from somewhere, like from over here or something. So we're just going to break out with these guys. And then Home Slice is going to come and move the, take these guys off this fort. There's an Asag Lord here. We're not really interested in assassinating him. Um, so, uh, we have the Sapir of Kindness. You can see we brought our god back in one turn. So, that's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call god again. Again, that should get them back. There's a small chance we like get low rolls on the call god uh, thing, and we, they don't come back, but... Such is life. Um, I think I think we still it's worth just defending this temple, I think. Um, though I'm kind of wondering if Oh wait, so we're gonna get our god back. We need to do the Sephira of Wisdom. Is that it? We're going to do the Sphere of Wisdom, and we're going to go ahead and pull this guy back to the cap. Uh, and this is going to tremendously increase our research speed. Though it would be far, far better if we had... Um, whatchamacallit? A, uh, more Pilgrims. We're a little low on Pilgrims. Uh, it would be good to kill these. Hopefully they move here. I think there's a pretty predictable move for them. Though they could cross this river. Um, and yeah, we're after this, we're going to be doing... Oh, wait. Do I want... No, I think we hang tight. I think I want Virtues. Don't I? Saphir of Wisdom. Yeah, let's do Saphir of Splendor. And then we actually don't need to bring this guy yet. And then we'll get a free virtue when we do the Sephira of Wisdom, which will be in a couple turns. And then we can also jump on top of this. By the way, there are ways to get... Uh, I had learned after Dominion 6 was released. I didn't actually know this at all during Dominion 5. There are ways to get the AI to peace out with you, but we're basically never going to get to do it, because if you stay... Basically, if we were able to, like, PD dump or keep an army and they don't attack me for a length of time, then they're going to be like, oh, we're at peace. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, I think this is about right. We'd also be able to get body ethereal. We might queue that up next. Uh, and then we're going to get Thrones here at uh, 3, which is really, really good. And then I think we want Construction next. There's some really good stuff we can get in Construction. Uh, 
All right. All right. Uh, we finished Conjuration 5, so we need to remember now to do Well of Misery. Boop, boop, boop. Lots of dead birds. Uh, we lose 10 angels here. That's not exactly great. We'll s hopefully we at least get the uh, Asag Lord. Or the Dione. How many did he kill? Just one? How many lose nine when it only shows these guys getting... Five kills? Are we like friendly fire somehow? All right. Oh God, what is this? A strange wandering Sybil has entered the palace of Bethel Shem. Somehow bypassing all attention from the guards. Once you reach, reach the throne room, uh, claim to have an important message for the Lord of the Nation. Uh, this is like some strange wind condition you can get. Um, I know it's some, somebody, I think it's never been done in a multiplayer game, or maybe somebody did it right as Dominion's 5 was ending. I haven't done it single player, but uh, I don't think this is the game to, to reach for the stars. I think this is the game to, if you, Actually, I, <laughs> you used to be able to kind of read about this in the uh, the uh, Hellenica Discord. Uh, there was never like a super clear guide, but there were some people who like had kind of talked about parts of this so that you might could figure it out. How to, but basically, there's like nine or ten things you have to do, and if you do them all, you get some like kind of semi game winning thing. Um, and it's not something you can do just turtling. There's like different spots on the map you might have to go or something, but. Um, yeah, because the Aether Nomads Discord got deleted and it's totally reset now, um, that information is lost. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got our god back. We sacrificed him. Good stuff. Uh, one angel promoted. Okay. These guys, we're, they're just like, literally cycle charging us. Uh, what's strange is Machaka used to be over here, so this guy must have attacked Machaka, otherwise he wouldn't have had access. Um, uh, we're going to have to kick these guys off. Let's see if there's anything in here that's particularly frightening to... Uh... Sometimes there's like uh, certain heroes that have like a hero lance that's 3x versus larger. It's a pretty high damage weapon too. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, the AI really is just, this is the true Dominion single player experience against the possible AI. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put everybody back up here, and they're going to start healing their diseases. We're going to put the, oh, whoops. We're going to put the people with diseases on maybe this guy, so we can watch as they kind of slowly come off. And we'll put the guys who are wounded um, on this guy, too. But the bottom tier are people who don't have uh, diseases. And uh, we'll we'll probably put those on someone else. We're going to have this guy call God. And this guy call God, too. Um, the question is, where do we go now? I'm not terribly sure. We've actually sort of stabilized. We actually, this is our first turn in 15 turns, we actually gained provinces. I'm kind of inclined to take this with troops too.
that we are going to have more people get diseased. But I think this is okay. We can we can get rid of the disease, but we need reliable experience. And the most way to get reliable ex the best way to get reliable experience is to you know fight armies on forts because we know where they're going to be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cast Well of Misery. And uh, you can see we got a spark of creation here. Um, so this is something you get. This is the guy that triggers you to get more virtues. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. He also gives uh, a lot of siege defense. So people are on top of our cap. I, I think we have other problems, but one thing we don't have, well, I mean, and the AI, I mean, it's not hard to siege through this, but. Okay. Um, so next up for the Sephira is going to be. Ooh, this wouldn't be bad either. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing that. Fuck you, AI. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna cast Wrath of God. Help thin the AI herd. Now, what do we do? I think now we... Yeah, let's send this guy over here too. So this army can basically go here, here. I think I'm inclined to pull Home Slice home. No, I think we're going to let the Wrath of God caster go home. Maybe we come over here, where we can potentially reset. But we're starting to put together what may be considered a proper army. Though we would normally have a lot higher dominion and some of the, like, we would have this up to nine. It's just not really in the cards for us at the moment. But having Well of Misery is going to be nice. Um, we don't, we, we do have death too, so we have a way to kind of spend some of it. Um, I'm not sh I mean, we can make Horror Helmets, so those are really good. Um, we're going to have this guy probably make a Skull Staff too at some point, And then we can have multiple people making Horror Helmets. So, yeah, there's quite a few things we can do. Crown of Names we're going to make next turn. We're going to move this guy back to the capital, do the Crown of Names. And, um, yeah, let's see what happens. All right. We are having Seeking Arrow cast at us. Uh, we cast Wrath of God. We cast Well of Misery. <laughs> yeah, let's watch this. <laughs> Hopeful Assassin versus Principality. Boink. Okay. Yet again, the AI... Man, they're really... Uh, fuck. Let's see. I hope some of these guys die. Because we're sending our main army here. And we could lose... I don't think we're going to lose the fight. But we could lose a lot of these guys. Oh no, he's getting swallowed. Oh no, they just got fucking killed. No, that was very bad. Lost both our principalities. Okay, they're going on advance and cast. We can't afford to keep losing these guys. Uh, now we can't even get these guys out because we don't have enough leadership.
This is exactly the kind of thing we had to avoid. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, so we got the newborn star. Now we're going to call God. Oh, God. Um, now we're going to do the Sephira of Kindness. Not of kindness, of uh, wisdom. And that's going to kick our research into gear. Uh, this is our well caster. Uh, there's not going to be much for them to do for a hot minute. Um, yeah, they tried to attack here. That's good. Good we fended that off. Um, yeah, I think we hang tight. We could try to push in and take this. Mm. Man, that was a big mistake. Big mistake. Okay, once we get construction for our principalities are going to be a lot more uh, buff. Okay, let's at least see what's over here. I'd also, do I have, okay, let's have this guy pick up more troops. These guys are going to get super diseased. We're gonna, we need to pick these guys up and bring them back. It would be nice to let him get his disease worked through, but we got to get those guys out. It would also be nice to make a disease healer here where I could like specially heal commanders. Hmm. This would be a... I kind of wish I had a fort here. This would be a great choke point to, to try to hold. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, you don't fuck with us. So we should have also done the Sephira of Wisdom here. Yeah, killed 67, okay. Okay, thank God we got another... So we got a virtue now from doing the Sephira of Wisdom. Now I'll show you what we're gonna do. We put this Crown of Names on, and that gives us one to all pass, also gives us a seven priest level. Uh, we're actually gonna spend our first turn preaching, getting Dominion up to 10. But, um, yeah, these guys are going to call God. Okay, let's get these guys the fuck out of Dodge. Ooh, birds attacking these dudes. Zoom. Is anybody about to die? New Airmore on life support. Zoom doing pretty good. Bird's doing actually pretty good, too. Um, okay, so we've got the core Sephiras done. We've got the uh, Crown of Names, which is going to give us significantly better research. It, like, doubled our research. We've got the uh, Spark of Creation from the Sephira of Splendor, which is going to give us a virtue every turn. Or every other turn. And, um, yeah, we've also got Well of Misery up. We've kind of got a lot, even though we're, looks like our game's kind of in the shitter right now, we've actually got a lot of our core stuff done. Um, at Enchantment 5, what do we get? Called Dominion and Sephira Foundation. This also gives us, uh, like, gems per turn. So this is, the Sephira of Beauty is the other one, and then, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, or Sephira of Knowledge. Um... 
yeah, that's the final step. But those give us a uh, casting ritual range bonus on our capital. Which is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Let's get uh, all these guys out. Uh, we'll put some of the disease guys down here. We'll put some of the wounded guys down here. Okay. And we'll have you research. Now, the people who aren't afflicted in any way... I clearly don't have the right guys selected here. I'm going to have to make another pass at some of this. Okay, uh, wait, here we go. Diseased? Nobody's diseased? Okay, let's have the... Wait, whoops. Let's have the wounded come down. Join this group. Okay, so these guys are going to get healed up. The guys who were diseased... Uh, not who are, who are not diseased or wounded. These dudes. We're going to see if we can farm them some experience. Um, I'm thinking we got to reasonably safe places where there can't be like some massive reinforcement like here. But it'll still give them a star or two. And then this guy, he can do, I don't know, Phoenix Power. Um, fire Shield, uh, Advance and Cast. Yeah, there's a lot of guys here. I do want to make a play for this. We might be getting to the point we can dream about it. It seems like most of the AIs have gotten in other wars, which is quite nice for us. Um, okay. We should this turn... So next turn... Our, our next one is not going to be another... Um, we can get up to nine Seraphs with the Sephir of Kingship, but I think we're going to go ahead and get the Foundation one first. We also have a ton of Air Gems, and we can now start getting Thrones. And this is the main way you want to spend these, but we're going to wait to do the Sephir of Foundation. It's also going to give us an Evocation discount. It's going to make summoning Thrones a bit cheaper. So we'll update Evocation 7. This also is going to help us with Economy. It's also going to give us the stuff we need to win, like Storm, Wrathful Skies, and Firestorm. So, this is an evocation-focused nation. These provinces basically give us nothing. Though I do think... For, yeah, okay, air shield, I think this still works. We're probably going to have to knock some guys off our forts pretty soon, but this is life. Um... Yeah. All right. And uh, we've got another turn here. Our god is back, yet to be sacrificed once again. Um, we'll need to go ahead and do a Sephira this turn as well. Um, yeah. Well, we got some promotions here. Or a promotion. So uh, the next Sephira we have up is Evocation 5, which is uh, this one, which must be done with a High Path Mage like we have here. So we'll go with the Sephira of Kindness. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead... I think... Oh, we didn't get... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make another Horror Helmet. But um, soon... God, I would like to take this. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to search here. See if we can dig something up. Okay, diseased. Let's have you guys join this crowd. Guys who are not diseased. Excellent. Wounded. Let's have you join this crowd. Uh, apparently we've tapped that crowd out. 
So if you come up here, okay, let's have the wounded. Stick around on this guy. And we're gonna take these guys and put them here. We should be getting close to construction four. Oh yeah, we're getting all four first, then we'll be construction four. Okay, call God. And we have the Sephira planned. Okay, this guy's going to... Ooh, there's a fort we can come take. I like the idea of that very much. Let's see if we can take this fort. Okay. Mm. Are there more angels we can bring? I think this kind of has us tapped out. Yeah, we'll have this guy research. We're going to bring in some angels from here. Preached up to seven here. I've got a pretty feisty little crew on top of this one. Uh, and this fort, it's one of the things I have to pay attention to. It's really easy for me to hit intern and not see this fort's under siege. So can we make it all the way over this way? We can, we're gonna have to abandon our little choke point over here. Uh, I think we'll do this. <clears throat> okay, and we're once we start printing out seraphs too, things are gonna get a, a wee bit easier. Um, let's take you and pick up. There's a lot of troops here we need to get. Okay, and I think we've done the things. After this, we're gonna start getting thrones. Uh, thrones. Are, there's a bunch of cool shit about to start happening. We're about to be having storm in every fight. Uh, we're about to be having. Um, Wrathful Skies in every fight. There's a bunch of very cool shit. And right now we're only going to be able to have one proper army, but that proper army is about to be badass as hell. So that will be pretty cool. Um, I'm also needing to get a... Authority? But we don't have quite enough Earth Gems yet. I have it site searched everywhere, and that's kind of on me. Okay, we need a site search there. Okay, we'll site search a few more places for Earth. I'd really like to get a few more Earth gems, and I can use that to call authorities. Uh, I think there's another way to get authorities as well. Air. I'd rather spend air gems on thrones, though. All right, but that'll probably be it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and hit end turn, and we'll see what uh, the new turn brings us. But uh, you'll see that in the next episode. Uh, until then, take care.